traders Anthony here. I'm looking at the Aussie CAD on the daily time frame. So what I've done, I've just marked up these previous highs. I've picked this one as a potential target. And then I've just gone back and I've grabbed this green candle here, the body of this green candle, high and low, bearish order block. And that's a final destination, I think. I mean, that's a fair way off. It's a daily daily chart we're looking at but yeah I mean there's a target um where to next year I mean it's really pushing up we've traveled up into this level here it's hit these stops above here and you can see the reaction off this liquidity okay so it's definitely uh hit a big level but uh you can see how it's kind of pushing pushing back in into the high here so I'm looking for a buy opportunity and I really like what I'm seeing we're getting a, a break above this this range here it's definitely pushing up there's two ways you could uh, approach this one would be well I mean grab grab these highs here and these lows I'm just going with the body candle candle body I should say something like that yeah I mean we're really getting this at the moment so the thing that I'm looking for is going to be yeah and see how we've got this the range through here and this spike under to me that's an obvious stop run uh, and smart money are bullish in my opinion okay they've generated liquidity above and below the range and they've hit these lows with a vengeance and now we're seeing the displacement to the upside. Uh, so this is telling me that big money is behind this push. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's how I'm reading this this chart. Let's travel back down, rebalance. We're looking to rebalance. Excuse me. Ah, too many late nights. So uh, where to in terms of an entry? Well, we've got this now this... Uh, price movement oh, I'm thinking I mean we could even pull it from here let's just grab it from these lows here I'm looking for the pullback into these highs pretty much something like that that could get me involved long so you could speculate with this well hang on you could speculate with this and uh, throw in a um, a buy back down in see, see this thin candle in fact we've yeah that's filled okay so we've got this imbalance running through here let's just mark it up the candle left the candle on the right pull that through and mark it up as a, a bullish imbalance All right so question is you know does this travel through back into this range and uh, you know that that would be that would be uh, where I would like to get involved. So let's just go with a long position in here. My stop loss. Well, I mean, look, could go under the imbalance to be honest. But let's just go under this candle. And uh, there's a target, and we're looking at that's a 4.2. We'll go for a 4R. We'll just round it off at about a 4R. That's pretty adventurous. That would be my call with this, guys. The Aussie cat, I think, a pull back down into this midway through the imbalance on the four hour time frame. And I'd be happy with that. Now, we've also got, oh, you know, look, where do you want to? You, you can look at a chart and be biased in terms of how you want to see it. And that's the problem, you know, with, with, with doing technical analysis. We, we look at this through the filter or the cloud of <laughs> how we're programmed or you know our education our minds but worse thing is we can see we can see this in terms of our bias you know I want this to be a, a buy opportunity so I'm only going to see the argument for for a long for a buy okay and uh, and we fail to clearly see what's on the chart for a possibility that that tanks okay 
So just keep in mind when you're, when you're looking at a chart that you can be biased. And I mean, I'm definitely, you know, I'm, I'm keen on getting involved long here. I'm making an argument to buy, but yeah, there's also a strong argument that this could go the other way and you need to include that. So, I mean, looking at the chart, I don't want to get in, into the, uh, the details so much, but let's just give it maybe a 70, 80% probability that this or I would give it an 80% probability given the strength of the Aussie and the weakness in the CAD at the moment although that can shift gears pretty quickly but I would say buying the strength selling weakness we've got a strong Aussie a weaker CAD and I mean look I'm going with the higher time frame it is bullish on the daily so that's my bias guys you know that is a bullish trend go with the trend can it turn around and go the other way and go against you? Of course it can. Look, here's a trend here, right? And and look at these look at look at this pullback here. Look how far it traveled. There's a bullish trend, and then look what happened. Right? Here's a bullish trend. That can happen. So just be careful. So, and and that's why you know you need to manage your risk well and go in with consistent conservative position sizes when you're trading. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on, but I think that would be my call with this one would be, uh, you know, if I'm going to speculate, that would be it. And if I'm not going to speculate, if I'm in front of the chart, so, you know, I could set up a, a pending buy here and keep an eye on it and then go down to the 15M. And if you're in front of the charts, we've got the London open, we've got the New York open later tonight. So on this time frame, all right, so this is where I'm interested in getting involved, right? I would look for even a five-minute time frame. I mean, we could do that. Now that we've got the chart mapped out. See, here's the thing too, by the way. This is the imbalance on the higher time frame. We've also got, see this thin candle here? Imbalance on the 5M, and it coincides with midway through this other imbalance. I mean, that that's a key area, in my opinion. So let's just mark that up and call that our target for an entry imbalance bullish imbalance all right uh, and that's a uh, 5m and that'd be my target for an entry so where's my thing hang on a sec just grab it yeah see here we go yeah that that pretty well sums it up guys but here's the thing too as i was just going to mention um we'll just mark that up okay see how this is trending at the moment Higher highs, higher lows. Five minute chart. All right. I want to see this start to trend to the downside. H lower highs, lower lows. And in around here somewhere, you want to see it flatten out or rotate. However it kind of shapes up, okay? And then you're going to want to see the trend kick in so let's just draw this all right so one thing you can speculate and throw in a limit buy down in here and walk away from it set and forget but let's just kind of paint a bit of a picture here let's say it travels down into this imbalance watch for a bit of a fake out and a, and a shake out and then the displacement that's the ICT model not my idea I call it the fakey shaky fake out shake out right and then you want to see something like that so if you're in front of the chart wait for this to play out and wherever this plays out it could be through here it could be further down you know th this price action that I'm that I've drawn on the chart here wherever that occurs it could be back down in here right could be up through here it makes sense to me that this imbalance gets touched and uh that's what I would, and, and I want to get in at a discount. So if we look at this from a Fibonacci point of view, my optimal entry is around the 50 to the 61.8, right? So now I've got a plan with this. Okay, that's, that's it. And uh, the break, retest and fail of this, if it ranges in here, all right, the first thing you'll get will be uh, a shift in the trend like the fake out and that'll draw buyers in more stop losses go under 
and then they hit those stops and then we get this expansion with with a um uh yeah with a lot of volatility or uh volume behind it now that's and displacement that's what i'm looking for see see this green candle here i want to see another green candle here and then to pull back back into it all right now just to be a little bit more technical so then you get this is a change in character and then we get a break of market structure BOS and then this pullback here retesting the high of the range is an entry wherever it sets up it could be here it could be anywhere okay but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm working on that now if this happens to push off here and leave me behind I'm, I'm happy to let this go now, I don't want to be chasing price. I want to get in at at least this 50% into this discounted zone. Guys, that's my take on the Aussie cat. I would love to hear your, your thoughts on this. Leave a comment below. And uh, with that, I hope you have a great day. Safe trading. And we'll see you in the next one.